Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 J, man. I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're going to be speaking on a woman that was nine months pregnant, doing five days, had just left her baby shower and was bringing gifts into the building when an uninvited guest showed up and shot her in the face. We begin tonight with a pregnant Harlem woman gunned down outside her apartment building. This happened after she had just gotten back from her own baby shower. This man needs to be off the street, and I pray that God convict him, convict him that he would turn himself in because the streets is mad at what I'm hearing. September 12, 2021. It was 1 a.m. in Harlem, New York, when 31-year-old Shanice Young got back to her apartment. A mother of two and her third daughter on the way, she was doing only five days and had just celebrated her baby shower. She was with her boyfriend, the two of them carrying gifts into the building's lobby to be brought upstairs as her 15 and six-year-old daughter stayed in the car. That's when things took a turn for the worst. Shanice's ex-boyfriend showed up, immediately chasing her current boyfriend in and out the other side of the building before ending up on a back street where they started fighting. Nine months pregnant, Shanice chased after them, attempting to break up the fight. That's when a gunshot went off. Shanice's father described the night as beautiful, sharing one of his happiest evenings with his daughter. They'd had a father-daughter dance, he'd cut the cake, it was a celebration full of love, music, food, and drinks as family and friends enjoyed themselves. He helped her bring the gifts down to her car and he told her, I'll see you tomorrow. That's when Shanice said, this baby is coming in five days, daddy, get ready. Those were the last words she'd ever say to him and the last words he'd ever say to her, I'll be ready. EMS arrived on scene locating Shanice who laid unconscious and unresponsive with a gunshot wound to her face. The shooter was gone. Who the shooter was wasn't exactly clear, but he left Shanice to die. Her limb body would be pressed as an EMT struggled to resuscitate her, then placing her onto an ambulance as her two daughters watched in horror from the inside of the car. She was transported to a nearby hospital where she was pronounced dead. Her father was in a state of shock as he learned what had happened. He described to a news reporter Shanice had moved to the building roughly three years ago to take care of her sick mother. She had two daughters of her own and was raising two siblings as her mother passed away from cancer about a year ago. Shanice was also scared to death of her ex, according to her father who said she kicked the man out after she caught him cheating. Since their breakup, she'd filed for three orders of protection against him, all three being approved by the courts, but yet he managed to find her pregnant with the two kids and still decide to chase down her boyfriend. Neither man have been identified in this case as police have not yet determined which man fired the fatal shot, meaning there's a chance this was a planned attack by the ex who according to authorities was wearing a camouflage mask. A possible physical confrontation turned deadly as Shanice tried to break it up only to be shot. But why wasn't the boyfriend shot? Or could this have been self-defense as the boyfriend ran, taken by surprise as a man chased him through a building and down the back stairs onto a back street? He didn't think he could get away, so he turned drawing his gun as he fired at the ex, the bullet missing and striking his girlfriend in the face as she chased after them. Or maybe they just fought for the gun, the trigger being pulled as they grabbed and swung with the barrel facing Shanice. It went off, but it wasn't supposed to and the shooter ran as the realization of what happened set in. At this point, nobody knows what truly happened, but it's believed her ex fired the fatal shot, and regardless of the outcome, the fact that she'd had three orders of protection against him, and he allegedly showed up to her building uninvited, resulting in her death, there's a high possibility he may still be held responsible for what took place under New York's murder law, regardless of who fired the shot as a death that occurs during the commission of a felony becomes a charge of second degree murder. He might not have intended on her dying, but staking out a building to chase and beat a man while allegedly carrying a gun sounds like a few felonies on top of the fact that Shanice and her unborn baby were killed. No arrests have been made, no weapon was said to have been recovered, and no word has been given as to whether or not NYPD have made contact with the boyfriend 
or the ex-boyfriend as they try to determine who fired the fatal shot. Now I feel like when it comes to killing, two of the most deadly factors is usually a woman in pride. Those, in my opinion, are the two things that'll get you killed the quickest. And we see it time and time again. There's people that can't handle losing a fight. There's people that can't handle getting tried. Whatever it is, their pride gets in the way and they make a decision that has everlasting consequences as they decide to take somebody's life, right? And in some cases, in attempting to take this person's life, they miss and kill someone else instead. And then you have women. Women are able to pull certain strings in your heart. And really that goes for anyone that you love, right? If someone in your family that you're close to, something happens to them, that can drive you to do something as well. But as far as women, being in other relationships, cheating, or you being the cheater, but you're a jealous cheater, it's a whole nother deadly domestic situation. And how this case is presented, the man cheated on her, she kicked him out, she got into a new relationship and got pregnant. And I tried to break it down in a couple of different angles of how I think it could have played out because they're trying to portray it that the boyfriend and the ex-boyfriend were fighting, she tried to break it up and she just got shot in the face. If it was as simple and dry cut as that, I feel like they would have a warrant out for dude's arrest, they would have his identity, his picture, posters all over the place, all throughout social media, but the fact that they don't makes me believe that there's three possible outcomes or three things that possibly could have happened, which is what I said in the video. Either he meant to do it and he shot the wrong person, the boyfriend shot in self-defense, but because the girl was chasing after the man chasing him, he shot her because she was behind him, or they were fighting over the gun, and when it went off, it ended up striking her. But either way it plays out, it is a fucking tragedy. Two of her kids were there when it happened. I just, I can't even imagine. It sounds like she was really the rock of that family. She held everything together. She took care of her mother until her mother passed away. She was a mother to two other siblings on top of her two kids, having another child of her own, pregnant, handling all of this, and at the same time dealing with a crazy, jealous ex. A memorial in Harlem where she was killed has already been put up, and I mean, it just, it must have devastated everybody. Especially showing up to the building and seeing in the lobby all the gifts from her baby shower and the baby passed away. I'm guessing that's gonna count as two murders. I'm not sure how that works, but there have been cases where if you kill a pregnant woman, they'll charge you additionally with the death of the baby. And I mean, it seems rightfully so. If you shoot the mother in the face, most likely caused some damage to her brain, which shut her body down, killing the baby. It's just fucked up, especially when you try to break it down into detail. It's horrible, I feel for the family. If any of y'all find a GoFundMe, please let me know so I can put it in the comment section. I'm gonna pin it as the top comment. I mean, I don't know how her family is gonna go on and hopefully they have someone that can take them in, especially if we're talking about four kids that are now without a mother. But in the next day or two, we'll officially know What's happened, I'm sure somebody will be arrested by then. I mean, they already have an idea on the only two individuals that are alleged to be involved. So it can't be that fucking hot. It's just one or the other. If it's the ex-boyfriend, jealousy is your fucking downfall. And you just ruined your whole life, took her life and the baby's life over your own insecurities. And if it's the boyfriend, if he tried to fire in self-defense and accidentally hit her, that's even more heartbreaking because it was 100% accidental and caused by the ex initiating in violence. But we'll see how it plays out. It's 1090J, I'm rocking with Charlie, y'all rocking with me. Till next time.